What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Death of the Venomverse issue number 4. Throughout this story, what we have seen is that Carnage is becoming more powerful. He is gathering powers, he is gathering strength. He is preparing for his battle with Eddie Brock. But he really wants to test himself before he goes for the King in Black. And so he faces against Agent Venom and all of her versions of Anti-Venom and Anti-Carnage from the multiverse. And we had last left off with the battle really ensuing, with Carnage swallowing up one of the Anti-Venoms. Nobody knew how this would work or what would happen, but we're about to find out. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up with Carnage just freaking out. He just gobbled up an anti-venom, absorbing him right into his body. And all the agents, they are watching as this tears him apart. As this happens, we also see that Carnage's victims, the people he consumed, they are ripping themselves free. They appear to all be alive inside of there. This is where we see everybody that he has taken. All of them show up right in front of him. The weapons that he has gathered, they have been turned against him. But there's something different about them. They're not the same as they once were. They're part carnage and they are part anti-carnage. Obviously, none of them expected this. Nobody knew what would happen, but Carnage sees this as another opportunity to test himself, to prove that he is really ready for the King in Black. And so as Carnage tries to fight back, we see them take all red from him and shove it into his chest. That everyone he consumed, they are attacking. And Agent Venom is seeing this as an opportunity. He is vulnerable to electricity, to fire, to sonics. If they're gonna take down Carnage, this is their opportunity. With one of our Venoms using the Dreamstone, he calls upon its power, calls for it to give him strength to destroy his enemy, to grant him an honorable death. It doesn't take long before we see that Carnage is trying to run away. They have flattened him out. They have weakened him down to one of his weakest states. But it doesn't take him long to reform. He reforms and he goes full force at them. And as Carnage begins to fight back, as we watch Venoms just be straight decapitated, this is where we have Venom. And Carnage, he does find this interesting, but this is not the Eddie Brock that he wants. While these two fight, we see that Venom smashes him up against the wall. But that is when the Carnage Vines come out, shooting in all directions, grabbing hold of every single one of those that were a part of him. Because Carnage is reclaiming what is his. His weapons, his armor, and his trophies. With a giant boom, Carnage has all of it back. Their window for taking him down has closed. Grabbing hold of one of the anti-venoms, we see him put him down. He turns to the others and he asks them, do you understand yet? Do you realize, do you see what I have become? The remaining forces that are left over, they really try to hold out. They try to fight against him, but there was no chance. Luckily for them, Dylan Brock has been working on teleporting everybody out of here. So before Carnage can fully just take everyone off the board, we see that they are all teleported out of here. And Carnage did consider going after them, but he's got bigger fish to fry. After testing himself and seeing that he came out victorious, this is what takes us over to the Silver Surfer. One more step before his final and ultimate ascension. But with Carnage's arrival, we see that All Red is driven right through the back of Silver Surfer. With him impaled on the god-killing weapon, he is prepared to take down Null. As the heroes of this world stand against Null, Null tells them that he is going to kill this world. Our heroes are being overrun, and Null is asking for Eddie Brock. Unfortunately, this King in Black is not getting an Eddie Brock. He is getting the King Killer, known as Carnage. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Death of the Venomverse hasn't necessarily been a bad story. It's one that I've relatively enjoyed really up until this point. And I say this because this was just, it was so convoluted. There is so much going on everything is happening so quickly that you don't really see what's happening. And there's also a lot of things that don't really make sense. For example, we saw that Carnage was pierced with the All Red. 
How is it possible that that did not kill him? It is supposed to be a god-killing weapon. Carnage was stripped of all of his powers at the time, so there is no logical reason on why Carnage is still alive. For all intents and purposes, he should be dead right now. But somehow, some way, the All Red doesn't have the same effect on him. Though it did just kill the Silver Surfer. And he's gonna use it to try and take down the King in Black. So how is it a Carnage, stripped of his power, stabbed with the All Red, yet he walks away with it like nothing happened? But this also appears to be another universe. Right smack dab in the middle of the King in Black event. It looks like things went a little bit differently inside of this universe. You know, all in all, it's not a bad comic. It just feels like this last issue is gonna be kinda lame. We're gonna have Carnage going against Noel, the King in Black. And if Carnage walks away from this, I, I'm not sure I agree with it. Now, don't get me wrong. Carnage has really been leveling up. He has become formidable. But is he so formidable that he could take on a King in Black? A King in Black that we watched Sentry get ripped in freaking half. All the heroes of the world stood against Noel. None of them were able to do anything because Eddie Brock was destined to be the King in Black. It was fated to happen. And so I'm hoping that this next issue, the final issue, is gonna really, really show that Carnage's hubris got the better of him. Thinking that he could take on someone as powerful as the King in Black, the person opposite of the Beyonders. That his ascension to godhood will never happen because he truly doesn't understand the forces that he is messing with. Heck, even Eddie Brock didn't fully understand what he was. Not until a time came. Not until he learned about his history and his place in the world. On what it meant to be a true king in black. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership, much like Patreon having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.